What's going on guys, Graham Cracker Gaming here, back with another video, and back with another series, and today, <laughs> and before y'all say anything, say, well, I'll get to it in a second, so today what I figured I'd do is start a series on the Nordschleifer, the legendary giant ass German uh, road course that all modern day cars are testing on, and what, and uh, has quite the the amount of wrecks in what is known as YouTube Corner, and I kind of really like doing the Norse life. And ever since I got iRacing, racing, I've been just testing out some weird some cars you wouldn't really see on that, and just seeing what times they do in Lapo. But I figured what I do. And I'm probably going to get a lot of comments saying, Oh, you're just commenting that guy Jimmy brought a man in the middle of the... Yeah, yes, kind of, come in. I know. It's inspired by from <laughs> Jimmy, that's all I could say. No, I'm not trying to be him. I'm not trying to copy him. I just want to do, like, my own uh, Norch Life series, pretty much. And pre probably expand upon what Jimmy has done. Uh, for some cars here, like I'm gonna be doing cars you won't really see, as well as um, kind of way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let like have a um, lap time total and probably lap time per game of whatever game I'm sim I'm doing I should say I should say game yeah uh, it's it's kind of a game simulator thing. <laughs> But to start this series off, I figured I'd do the one of the most one of the now dominant cars to ever come out. First off, in its debut year, the Chevrolet Corvette C A R. <clears throat> and <laughs> I kind of did want to run the uh, uh, this year's Corvette schemes, or even maybe an older scheme that was brought on from Trading Paint, brought on to the C eight. But I figured, and I have, I wanted to do a video on that, but I haven't been able to because no, I haven't seen any, um, her Ganassi libraries for the Dollar P217 yet, which I don't know to run. But <laughs> I figured since Ganassi is coming back in the episode next year with Cadillac, I figured I'd do the Ganassi scheme on the on it with a little bit of a throwback with a number if you remember that run, them running zero one and zero two but the Shelley Corvette CAR is powered by a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 engine that does about a with the restriction with the restrictions about 500 flat horsepower and does around 480, eight, eight, yeah, 480 pound feet of torque. <laughs> I think its top speed is like 180, 190, 190 miles an hour with the CAR. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah. Um, flat, flat plane crank. Let me just look that up real quick. Alright, so flat crank, flat plane crank. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. Um, I guess the difference between a regular, with, uh, what is it? A cross plane, which I guess is, which is what the Corvettes, I'm pretty sure, I've always used as a cross plane. I want to want to say, um, uh, hold on. I'm pretty sure they, pretty sure it's a cross plane. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a cross crank. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess the difference between cross and flat plane cranks, I guess, are basically just the timing of when it hits the, um, when the combustion hits for, I guess, <laughs> is how to explain it. I guess. Um, usually I'm pretty sure what a cross, I think what the cr cross crank does, I think is 
Um, I think it's individually. No, it might be individually. Oh wait, no, it goes from each. Um, it does like each crane per crank or each uh uh piston per each piston when when it goes and it, when it's move. I don't know how to really explain it. Um. Yes, big Mc, big car guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's what it is. It's just basically cross crank does like just goes back and forth to each one. I'm pretty sure how it goes compared to. Um, a flat plane, which I think is do doing two each time the engine is running. Pretty sure what it is. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> if, you, you know, like, if anyone wants to go look it up, they can and just prove me wrong in the comments. I'm <laughs> kind of stupid. But anyways, but let's just take the C8 Corvette, C8R Corvette around the North Chile and see how fast we can get this. Okay, so after <laughs> trying to... Uh, get or trying to get even around this for some practice time, which is that really a whole lot. Uh, I just try to hope I don't hurt. Hope, yeah, hope I don't wreck. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> but what something I've got to something that I've got to mention is that um. One thing I don't know, some of the names of the corners I'm gonna be bad probably the only ones I know is like YouTube Corner and the Carousels and uh Holtenbeck, I think is what it's called. And another thing I shouldn't mention is that this thing has so much downforce going through corners on this. Um yeah. <laughs> um oh my god. I mean, I forgot what, I probably should look up should have looked up the by the time what the actual C8 test car did, uh, trying to lap the Norch life, but yeah. Anyway, so right now we're under the Feldstein Bridge, I want to say what it's, what it's called. It's under the bridge on the top of the hill, on top, just after the long back straightaway, just going downhill. So, anyways, let's see how this lap goes, because. Oh my god, it's gonna be quick. <laughs> Oh, this is the sound of that. Really gotta get the jumping ends up with this. So there we go, coming down the hill. Into the final chains. Go down that second gear thing here. Here we go, let's start a lap. Then down to turn one. Oh, oh I messed that up big time already. Should have break a little earlier. Down to hold some back. Almost got to auto through that. I should just rip the red line the uh, red one in there, but oh well. Ain't a little too slow through that. Trying to focus on the road, I gotta be careful with the curves. Uh, I didn't want it running a little lower down for us, see if I can't get some tree lights to do that. I don't know if it's enough. Oh, look to the hill. Head off. Right here. Well, at least we get the hand break a little bit. Now we can just let that 5.5 thing go right up. So much power in this thing. Break a little bit. Back into the throttle. Oh god, didn't shift right when I wanted to shoot. Shift the ball in here. That was some long run section. Oh god, and you gotta be careful because it's so easy to mess up. 
we've seen some of the 24 hour races and the people who just drive up publicly. And I always get this corner all messed up each time. And back into the throttle. <laughs> so much. Right, the light limited, light off, break a little tiny bit. Back to the throttle again. Break here. Down a second. So again, shift to the third, but eh. Uh, I could tip down in towards gear. Down to, I think it's called hit, miss, hit, miss. I think it's what it's called. Finding the wrong gear for it. Oh, I should not have touched that curve. Oh, down to the hairpin. Back into it. Trying to get this exit away. Oh, I'm a tiny little less down for this. I don't want to see the car go around. Down to the bridge section, I think it's where this is. Very tiny bit up the hill. Up in the fifth, before we break down. And now we just let that 5 foot five wheeler go out again. Let that 500 horse just run away. So I'm not going to shift from the top here. I think I'm pretty sure I got something wrong that I can. I'm pretty sure I can go faster on street high speed. I may have messed up something set up. Now uh, for a little bit, break tiny, back into the throttle again, but I go to the other Oh, watch the kink. Oh, break so much. Can not get that traction control to help me slow down a little bit? Down the throttle again, so I am into the carousel. Hope they don't mess it up. Oh, beautiful. Easy, 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 easy. Smash that throttle. Oh, it's so quick with this thing. Shut the throttle to that. That's great. Down the third. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, no, 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 I think I did mess up. Oh my god, check. Okay, I can't look. Nah, okay. Oh, no, 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 I messed this up. I messed this up. I messed this up. Two oh, of the same. The same. Brain's trying to think faster than the car itself. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> okay, break a little, break a little. I'm gonna okay, mess this. Is this? Nah. Shush. Okay, don't say anything. Uh, back down a second after going through the two corner. You mentioned that. Oh, God. Alright, break the hill, down the third. Back in the fourth. See if any curves. The fourth right there. This is windy section. Tiny break. I can break a little later ball. Uh, need to get a little bit closer to Kirby. Now I'm to the second carousel. Messes up my practice. Don't. Okay. Got better this time. That's good. Oh god, easy, easy, easy. And try to get towards the curve again. And now we can just let this thing run out. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I got this weird gearing or maybe a fuel so fuel type. Something with the fuel, I'm pretty sure the trajectory's fire can go no faster. I don't know, I feel like this is going faster than it's a mile an hour, but it's all well. up. Now the back's real straight away onto the end of the bridge. Down to this last section. Break 
break now, break now. All the way down there. Pump throttle. Oh, I nearly missed that. Okay. This is gonna be. What's that? Oh, what was that? Uh, hold on one second. Which one? A 648? Seriously? Is that really a 648? No freaking way. Oh my god. I'll, I'll put the time in when I find out what it was after that, but holy crap. I think when I was testing out the setup, I think I did a 752. I just topped off a bunch on that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure I can do it maybe slightly faster, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe it's something to do with the gearing, or maybe you're right, the fuel. Um, how much it sucks fuel, I'm not entirely sure, which it could have been. But oh my god, <laughs> just the CAR is just wow. <laughs> and there's people who still. I ain't bash it because it's a mid-engine uh, Corvette and kind of bring it away from the front engine I can see that it kind of brought itself but I'm going to like this pretty well oh, excuse me, and you can tell how just dominant this car is this thing is just a monster and it's kind of sad that it didn't get a chance to run Le Mans because I think this fight would have done very well at some, at some point like, just during this pandemic and that and Chevrolet and Chevrolet just trying to get this flat plane crank to be a little better, and I, I think they very much accomplished that. Pratt, Pratt Miller and Chevrolet have really uh, got something really good with this car. That's all I can say. That is pretty good. <laughs> it, might, it might be just as good as the C6R, but we'll have to see in the future. Because I have to see come next year if it dominates the endurance races, that's for sure. <laughs> but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a, leave a like, smash that like button to show that you really enjoyed this. Because this, this, I think, is going to become a really good, fun series. And... <clears throat> And just come and subscribe to see some more of the cars running around the North Slides. So let me down in the comments what cars uh, you want to see next run around the North Slide. I got a few I'm gonna start. I'm, that I'm gonna start out with this series. And, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments what cars you want to see run the North Slide. Because <laughs> this is fun. Let me, let me just say that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.